Welcome to EU Tweets of the Week. Germany has a debate, ECJ seals Hungary's fate, and it's baby three for William and Kate. In the German election, Angela Merkel and Martin Schulz faced off in their only TV debate ahead of the election, but online it was business as usual. Twitter, you know how this goes. Your captions, please, tweeted Deutsche Welle. Kristen Zier said the topics missing from the debate included digital transformation, education, climate change and Russia, while John Worth pointed out that there was not a single mention of Brexit. That's how important you are in the election, UK. And American EU dude just found the whole TV duel rather dull indeed. Hungary took a page from Donald Trump and demanded the EU pay for its border fence, but Juncker was not buying it and slammed the door on Orban's request for extra EU cash. Solidarity is not a blank check, he said. Meanwhile, the ECJ dismissed Slovakia and Hungary's challenge to the Council's migrant relocation decision. Kenneth Roth from Human Rights Watch said that Brexit threatens the EU with only the loss of a member. Hungary and Poland threaten it with the loss of its values. And finally, Royal Baby News swept Britain. It's quite nice when the BBC isn't telling you about impending nuclear war, said Francine Carroll. She wasn't the only one to welcome some light relief. Royal babies and the glowing promise each day of nuclear obliteration? It's like I'm back in the 80s, said Kate B. Peter Stefanovic, however, thought PM Theresa May should have more important matters on her mind. May offers gushing support to the royal baby, but not the McDonald's strike. Owen McDermott wondered if Prince William was planning ahead for the World Cup. And Thomas Jones spotted a similarity between Prince William and Homer Simpson. And of course, the baby name debate was in full swing. Here's our winner. If they don't call the child Baby McBabyface, I'm never voting for the royal family again. This week, we are supported by ACCA. Look out for their event on drivers of change for the public sector. And join me again next week for more hilarity and disparity and send in your suggestions using the hashtag EUTweets.